My name is Kyle, and this morning each and every one of you is going to join us on a discovery beyond your imagination as we enter the world of the bottlenose dolphin. The door, the door. Same thing for the door. Hi, folks. My name is Ben, and joining me this morning on stage is that Chief. Tammy, and that's Nikki in the water. But more importantly, the beautiful dolphins we're going to introduce you to are Gemma Diva, Chaser, Nora, and Moki. Don't do the wrong way, do. Don't do the wrong way, do. Do the wrong way, do. And it's great to see you as always, team. But let's just imagine this for a moment. The average bottlenose dolphin, once it's fully matured, can weigh well over 200 kilograms, which makes what you're about to witness all the more amazing. Absolute strength and sheer power all rolled into one remarkable manner. Just simply amazing, aren't they? But well, let's now for a moment imagine that we've travelled back in time to a century that's long since passed. Now, Greek mythology is filled with many, many marvellous tales, but not the least of which is the story of Arion. Now, this is the tale of a young poet who was cast out into a deep sea and then rescued by dolphins, the legend firmly establishing just how long we've been enchanted by the dolphin. And I'm sure if Arion were around today to show us what it was really all about, we can only imagine the rescue may have looked a little something like this. Now, while Nikki may not exactly be a beautiful hero, she does love spending time in the water with her dolphin friends. But while we're still Man, looking at the past, past, let's reflect a little closer to home. Indigenous so Australian you know, history and the stories from the Dreamtime have strong links to both the land and the sea. We know the stories recounting how dolphins have right, like their powerful tails. Hard upon the water surface, throwing fish into a tight corner, ready for fishing in its nets. While at the same time, of course, satisfying their own hunger. <laughs> Off our vast Australian coastlines, hopes of years into our past, dolphins have been sparking out the nations with their beauty and their undeniable grace. I'm 
You see, in ancient times, who would have stood on shorelines captivated, watching as dolphins swam and leapt through the air, our imagination filled with a wonder and a desire to perhaps someday, somehow, reach out and make contact with these beautiful marine animals. For two very lucky and excited volunteers, that day has arrived. They're looking for two people to come down here, they don't mind getting their feet a little wet, and meet our beautiful dolphins. In the middle there, you'll see straight up the first one coming down. We can move on now. Who's excited this morning? Yeah, you are certainly excited, young man. Come down here. Hello there, what's your name? Jesse. Jesse, where are you from? Hey, I'm Donkey to the Jackie Nibula. Mum and Dad, Victoria, thanks Mum. Victoria, welcome. Kick your sandals off there for me. Jesse, hello, what's your name? Jade. Jade, where are you from, Jade? New Zealand. New Zealand! Any New Zealanders in the crowd? Yay! Yeah. A lot of love there from New Zealand. You look like you're ready to go. Now we're going to get our volunteers into the water. So for the rest of us, we should sit back and relax and watch these friendships form, which long ago was simply the stuff of dreams. I like the other. I like the sea lion chest. He's cutting them. Uh-huh. <laughs> 